Hey guys, my name is Daniel Modeki and I'd like to thank you all so much for joining me today. Most importantly, I'd like us to thank God for enabling each and every one of us to be here today. You know guys, I always sensitize you and I'll never stop that it's paramount. It's absolutely important that you thank God when you're gifted with a new day. A new day is a blessing. A new day is a present that God has given you for you to be a better person and for you to achieve that purpose that which he created you for. And so always be grateful when you wake up and you see a new day. Guys, as usual, I leave my social media details and my email right on the screen there. And so if you'd like to reach out to me, could be a topic, could be a suggestion, could be anything you're going through, you need somebody to talk to, feel free, chat me up on my social media pages and I'll do my very best to try and revert to each and every one of you. As usual, if you haven't subscribed to the channel, don't hesitate, press the subscription button and the notification bell so that you're always alerted when we post a new video, which by God's grace is normally each and every Sunday. Well, last week, guys, we spoke about evaluating our friendships. And that video for me is very powerful because we spend so much time and invest so much energy in friendships and relationships. And so it's absolutely paramount that you are able to evaluate the friendships that which you have chosen in your life and to see are they worthy, are they important, and should you continue investing in them. So if you missed out on that video, please go check it out because it was very informative. Well, new week, new video. And today I'd like us to talk about something a little bit different. Today I'd like us to go back to the Bible. And I'd like us to talk about a gentleman who was called Daniel. My name as well. Beautiful name. Anyway, Daniel is a man I have really looked up to. When you read the book of Daniel, you realize that Daniel is a man who was purposed. A man who had a purpose. A man who had focus in him. A man who was uncompromisable. A man who had already put within him guidelines that were to help him achieve that which God had purposed over his life. You know, if you read the Bible in the book of Daniel 1.8, it says that Daniel purposed in his heart not to defile himself with the king's delicacies. Daniel and a group of young men had been exiled into Babylon. And the king then had taken them into his courtyard where he wanted to feed them and make them grow and make them look, you know, study and make, make, make them as physically uh, able as possible. And so the plan was to feed them with his delicacies and with all that. When everybody else accepted this, Daniel purposed not to do so. And he opted to have a conversation with one of the guards and told them, you know what, just feed me what I've always been eating my greens, my this, my that. And I promise you, after a couple of weeks, just evaluate all of us and you will see that I will still be as, if not better, than I am now. And uh, the God gave him a chance and uh, Daniel prayed to God and through God, he was able to be one of the strongest and most well-built gentlemen there. You know why I never forget this story? It was because my mom used to read it to me each and every time I went out of her prison. You know, every time I went to boarding school, every time I went somewhere, she'd always tell me, Daniel, purpose in your heart not to defile yourself. Many people will do X, Y, Z. Purpose not to join them. Purpose not to defile yourself with what everybody else is doing. And that has stuck in my heart until today. And this is a trend you keep seeing Daniel doing. Because later as Daniel grows into the service of the king, because of God's favor, some jealous officials decide to plot his downfall. And the interesting part is that the scripture writes that the jealous officials looked for faults within Daniel and they couldn't find any. There's nowhere he was corrupt. There's nowhere he was embezzling anything. There's nowhere he was misuse of office. Daniel could not be found to have any speck of dust in him. He was clean. 
You know, I asked myself a question today. If people came and looked in your life, would they find you to be as principled, as focused, and as integral as Daniel? Or will it take them five minutes to find something to pin you down with? And that has been the problem with a lot of us. We are easily compromisable. We can be bought at a price. But with Daniel, it wasn't so. And after a long time of searching, these officials realized the only way to put Daniel down is by interfering with the God that he serves. That's the only place. Because you cannot find him in any other wrongdoing. And so they go to the king, they manipulate him, and he gives a decree that everybody should worship only him. And definitely this will go against Daniel's principles. And with that, Daniel was found to be at fault because he refused to bow down before the image of the king. You all know the story. He's later thrown into the lion's den where God shuts the mouths of the lions. And the next morning, the king who ordered him to be thrown into the den wakes up quite early and rushes to Daniel. Daniel, are you still there? Are you alive? Did your God save you? And Daniel comes out unscathed. And from there, this king puts out another decree that the only God to be worshipped in the whole land is a God of Daniel. Because Daniel stood strong. You know, sometimes I ask myself, can that be said about me? Can somebody sit down and say, I want the God of Daniel? Can somebody say, I want the God of John? I want the God of, you know, put your name there. Do you live a life that people would want to be associated with the God you serve? Or have you compromised yourself? Daniel was willing to lose his life for the sake of God. A lot of us are not willing to lose anything for the sake of God. Men of the cloth have been found to be corrupt. They've been found to the misuse and embezzlement of funds provided for within the church. But yet they claim that they serve the God, the God of Daniel. Today, I want to urge you, you must be uncorruptible. You must be principled. You must be focused. You must have a stand that is unshakable. As Daniel was, so must you be. I aspire that God will continually give me the strength, the wisdom, and the knowledge to stand strong in such tough times. In the world we live in today, you look left, you look right, people have big houses, big cars, big bank balances. Guys are traveling all over the world, spending big. And sometimes you feel as though you went wrong. And sometimes you're willing to do anything to achieve that. Remember the get rich or die trying phrase? You're willing to do that. But I realize that in life you must be principled. Because you do not know where a lot of these people have found the funds to do what they do. Not everybody you see has a silver lining. Some have lost their souls, some have lost their lives, some have compromised so many things to be where they are. So for you, I want you to focus on your life. I want you to be steadfast. I want you to be grounded. I want you to be principled. I want you to have character that is unshakable. As Daniel was steadfast in his walk with God, I pray that this coming week, we will all evaluate our lives and choose to be steadfast and to walk the walk that Daniel did. 
to a point that our life is a testimony to others. And so get time, make time, create time to read the book of Daniel. Just go through it and you'll see the greatness I'm talking about. Well, guys, I'd like to say thank you so much for joining me today. And always remember, share these videos with friends and family and like them so that we can share with many more people and impact them in a positive way. Until next time, may the Lord bless you, may he keep you, may he shine his face upon you and be gracious to you. Take care guys and God bless.